What's going on? It's your boy H Money, Mr. The Zone. We in the building. Let's get it. Charles Lolo Harris, 17 year old boxing phenom, bro. You hear me? Boxing phenom, bro. You know what I mean? Only 17 years old. Charles Lolo Harris, he's making a lot of noise, undefeated, two wins, two knockouts. He got all the talent in the world. He got all the talent in the world. He can really fight. You know what I mean? They saying he's the next Terrence Crawford. You know what I mean? Word on the street is Lolo is the next Terrence Crawford, bro. You know what I mean? Only 17 years old, young Lolo making a lot of noise in a sport of boxing. I see a lot of I see a lot of skills in Lolo. I like what I see from from Lolo at such a young age able to to turn professional. Became professional at a very young age for a reason. Only a handful of fighters are able to do what Lolo is doing. Devin Haney did it and you see Devin Haney youngest world champion in boxing. And Lolo, definitely, man, paying his dues, doing what he got to do, looking sharp. He's getting better and better every day. He's getting better and better every day. You know what I mean? Sh shout outs to Charles Harris. You know what I mean? Jesus Hernandez, everybody hit that like button on God. We ready to turn up. My boy, young Lolo, man, he doing his thing, man. I appreciate a young fighter like Lolo. You know what I mean? Giving you 110%. Dedicated to the sport of boxing. He's a already professional. So you know he got a pro style. You know what I mean? That's what his dad told me from the very beginning. That Lolo had a professional style. That's why they decided to turn him professional at such a very young age. And now you're hearing about the, the comparisons between Lolo and Terrence Crawford. How Lolo is able to, to put himself in position to be that next Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford, undisputed champion. Terrence Crawford, undefeated. Terrence Crawford, a true champion, in and out the ring, bro. And that's a great comparison for Lolo right there. That's a great comparison for Lolo. For Lolo to get compared to arguably one of the best fighters in the world, Terrence Bud Crawford, that's a great thing right there. And Lolo... And Terrence Crawford, they got a lot, a lot of similarities. Both of them are very, very heavy, heavy handed, heavy handed punchers. Lolo can box like Terrence Crawford. Lolo has the same birthday as Terrence Bud Crawford, the same exact birthday. They was born on the same day. Lolo, favorite fighter is Terrence Crawford, bro. That's his favorite fighter, bro. So what more can I say? You know what I mean, Terrence Crawford covered off a great performance against Kell Brook, winning, winning in, in spectacular fashion. Terrence Crawford, his fourth, his fourth round knockout of Kell Brook was spectacular. Terrence Crawford, arguably the best fighter in the world, pound for pound. Crawford, who gives you 110% every time he's in that in that ring, never cheats the sport of boxing. A true champion in and out the ring, Terrence Bud Crawford. Never cheated the sport. Terrence Crawford, he doesn't party. He doesn't smoke or drink. Always behind the scenes. An Andre Ward type of guy. Andre Ward type of character. Let me drop the link in the chat. There go the link right there to Lolo's. You know what I mean? Lolo, bro. They say he the next Terrence Crawford, bro. A link to his last fight. Check him out. Lolo already professional at only 17, representing San Bernardino, California. And you know what? Ain't nothing but Cali love, man. That California love. Westside, nigga. Westside, nigga. Till I die. 
It's West Side, bro. And I'm representing for the West Coast, man. All my life, nigga. West Coast, nigga. For life, my nigga. And I'm representing, man. You know what I mean? Putting it down for the town. That's what I do. I put it down for my town. A lot of hand and a lot of loud. You dig? Oh, God. So, yeah, we fit to turn up. <laughs> we about to turn up, man. I mean, what y'all thought about Terrence Crawford last performance against Kell Brook? Let me get y'all thoughts. There go the link. You know what I mean? Jo join the panel. My boy Tank, I see you. Tank, man, I got this kid right here. Charles Lolo Harris from San, listen, from San Bernardino, California. He loved to fight. He loved to fight, man. The kid ready to make, you know what I mean? He's ready for his third fight already. He's re he's ready for his third fight. Staying active, unlike some people I know, like Gary Russell Jr., those guys, you know what I mean, who can't find a fight. You know what I mean? Lolo staying active during the quarantine. You know what I mean? We got to eat, don't we, Lolo? Lolo, a dog, we got to eat. We got to eat, Lolo. You hear me? You hear me, bro? Ain't no, listen, man, ain't no turning down. My, ain't no turning down. We on our way up. You know what I mean? We on our way up on God, bro. You know what I mean? Lolo said he he feel like he one of the best. You know what I mean? Point blank, period. He said he feel like he one of the best. Lolo told me that. He said, yo, H, H, I feel like I'm one of the best out here. You know what I mean? I believe in Lolo. This not a secret. I was working with Lolo from the very beginning. You know what I mean? Remember, it started right here on this channel right here. You feel me? And sh shout out to Fred from Barbershop Conversations who, who did a piece. He did a big piece on Lolo. I appreciate that, Fred, if you're listening. You know, hey, this kid right here is something special, bro. We going to go to his first fight, man. We going to start off by watching... One of his, there he go. For sure, so there he go. There he go. Charles Harris, the father and the trainer of Lolo. You know what I mean? He in the building. He doing a great job. Shout outs to Charles Harris. Shout outs to Ian. Ian doing a great job. The team is back. You know what I mean? That glue. If y'all don't know Ian, Ian, he's, uh, he's one of Lolo's trainers, man. From the very beginning, Ian was working. With Lolo, you know what I mean, and uh, they back, man. They right, they right back like they never left. Ian, he brings a lot to the team. You know what I mean. He's a great coach, and Lolo is, you know what I mean. Lolo is, he's more comfortable with Ian and his father in his corner, bro. You know what I mean. And I talk to a lot of great trainers on a regular, man. Lolo, he he, he was just in the gym with uh, with uh, what's his name, Buddy McGirt, Buddy McGirt. Hall of Fame fighter, Buddy McGirt. Hall of Fame trainer, Buddy McGirt. Lolo was just in the gym putting hands on a kid in front of in front of Buddy, uh, Buddy McGirt, man. They said, Captain Duck, Mr. Shorty himself, Gary Russell, ho ass. They going hard on Gary Russell, man. You know what I mean? Hit the like button. Tell a friend. You dig? Yeah, yeah, man. We, we doing it big, man. Young Lolo. Young hitter, man. He's a young hitter out there in California. You dig? Out there in California, man, we'll run up on you. You dig what I'm saying? Out here in California, dig? Real talk, Jesus, man. Listen, hit that like button right now, man. Hey, listen, Lolo, he's already pro. He got two wins on his resume. Two wins, two knockouts. It ain't easy. Especially when, when you're only 17 years old, my nigga. He's only 17. Two wins, two knockouts. His father told me from the very beginning, he said, yo, H Money, my son, he's a special talent. I got, my son is a great fighter. He told me that, and I believed in him. I believed in him. You know what I mean? Now look at Lolo. You know what I mean? Lolo out here winning, and he's getting ready for his third fight on the 28th. I believe it's on the 28th. Lolo's next fight, you don't want to miss it. It's going to be in Mexico. Lolo racking up wins, racking up knockouts. He out here making it look easy, though, bro. You know, but in every fight, 
Every fight is a learning experience. With every fight, Lolo gains more experience. You know what I mean? And that's what it is. That's what it's all about. You know what I mean? At only 17 years old, he's getting better and better. He's getting better and better, bro. He's getting better and better, bro. Every day at 17, Lolo is doing what he's supposed to do. Staying in the gym. He's running. He's he's training every day. And guess what? We got a special announcement. Lolo making his debut at 126 pounds. Okay, Lolo going down to 126. You know what I mean? Bre breaking news. Charles Lolo Harris campaigning at 126 pounds, bro. You know what I mean? Watch out, man. Watch out right there at 126. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm just going to be real with you, bro. At 126 pounds, Lolo is a monster, bro. He's already a monster at 130. He fought at 135 his first fight at a catch weight because the man came in overweight. And Lolo made no, he made no ex excuses. He went out there and got the stoppage. He, he went out there and got the stoppage. His knockout percentage, 100% knockout ratio for Lolo, showing off the power at 16 years old, at 17 years old. You know what I mean? His punches, you can hear Lolo's punches. Let's be real about it. You can hear the punches, bro. You know what I mean? Thumping. Lolo shots stay thumping. You know what I mean? It sound like grenades going off when Lolo landed punches. It sound like grenades going off, bro. This man Lolo putting hands on grown men. Man, he out here beating the fuck out of people, bro. Man, I seen Lolo in his last fight. Man, the kid looked sharp, bro. The, the kid looked sharp in his last fight. I have to be honest. You know, me and his father talked about it. We talked about making adjustments. And I seen the adjustments in Lolo's last fight at only 17 years old. This kid is something special. This Lolo, Lolo is very, he, listen. He's a special fighter, bro. He's a special fighter. I guarantee you Lolo will be a world champion, bro. I guarantee you Lolo going to be a world champion, my nigga. I guarantee it, bro. I support Lolo 110%. H Money, Mr. The Zone, I support young, young fighters, man. I support all the young fighters, my nigga. And one thing about Lolo, this kid is out here. He's putting in work. He got, he going for his third win already during the pandemic. He doing this during the pandemic. He's doing a lot, bro. And you got to give credit to his father and his trainer, Charles Harris, bro. The link is in the chat, Charles. The link is in there right there. He said, facts, H money. He said, I stay in San Bernardino County now. So he said, I've known about Lolo for years now. He said, Muro Boxing put me on. You know what I mean? They said they put him on. Lolo is official, and I tell him to find ways to continue to get better. Absolutely. You know, with H20 supporting Lolo, his father, you know, his coach Ian, you know what I mean? We taking we taking this very serious. I'm studying, I'm studying boxing every day. You know what I mean? I'm studying boxing, bro. I'm learning every day. I'm getting better, increasing my knowledge. You know, I'm cl I'm close friends with uh, Charles Harris, Lolo's father, and we talk all the time, man. And I'm sending I'm sending him footage of legendary fighters. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna give out the sauce like that, but you know, I stay in that high guard defense like Winky Wright, though. I tell you that much. You know what I mean? Shout out to Winky Wright. Hit the like button. There go the link in the chat. D Hodges, join the panel. My boy Tank. You listen, listen. It's about Lolo Harris. You know what I mean? Can, can Lolo, you know, possibly be the prospect of the year? You know what I mean? Possibly. 2020 prospect of the year, Lolo Harris, my nigga. Prospect of the motherfucking year, nigga. Put some respect on his name, nigga. For real. On God, nigga. Lolo, the prospect of the year, nigga, because he going for three wins already, nigga. Hey, listen, he younger than everybody, bro. Now, Lolo just turned 17. He was just 16, bro. His birthday just passed in September. He got the same birthday as Terrence Crawford. 
Lolo got the same birthday as Terrence Bud Crawford, man. Put some respect on his name. Put some respect on that, man. And Terrence Crawford, undisputed champion, three different weight classes. Terrence Crawford just knocked out Kell Brook in the fourth round, and they saying Lolo is the next Terrence Crawford. Listen to me. Charles Lolo Harris is the next Terrence Crawford, bro. Remember who told you first, bro. Remember who said it first, my nigga. It was either me. You know what I mean? It was me. His dad said it, though. His daddy, I'm going to be honest, got to give respect to his father, though, man. Charles Harris, you know what I mean? Because without Charles Harris, this this right here, it won't be it won't be possible, bro. And this is a celebration for Lolo Harris, my nigga. You know what I mean? That's what this is, man. It's California love, nigga. Like I told you, nigga, it's that west side till I die, bro. West side, bro. For real. You know what I mean? There you go. I be in here. What up with it, I be? What's going on with my brother H Money in the chat, though? Yeah, chilling, bro. Man, we celebrating, man. You know what I mean? Low, low, young fighter, seven, 17 years old, two wins, two knockouts. You know, man, what's your thoughts on Lolo? We discovered him right here on this channel right here, bro. And you know what oh, I mean? Man. I'm Lolo, proud of him. He aggressive. He's sharp. He a brawl with you. He a box you all day long. But his reflexes, he's not about to let you touch him at all. He don't want to be touched. And that's a, and that's the sweet sign to the sport. Touch and not get touched. Lolo got that, man. Naturally. I can see it. I can see it. Hey, hell yeah. Hell yeah, I B. You know what I mean? He got power too. But hey, for a young fighter like that, he can really he, he can crack. You know what I mean? He can punch for real. I think that that kind of separates him from the rest of the young guys. He can really – he showed it as a professional, too, with two knockouts. Yeah, he two and two, you know. That last performance was great, just like the first performance. Is he still boxing in Mexico? Yeah, yep, yep, Mexico. They said yeah, yeah. he got he got a fight lined up, you know what I mean, in uh, the November 28th in Mexico. And Shamar Canal's next fight should be his first pro fight should be in February, I believe. Um, Shamar Canal, I believe they said fe February fourth in in Fe Louisiana. Okay, February fourth. Okay, okay. But yeah, I was watching the videos you've been putting out on Lola, man. Yeah, he definitely got that, man, for free. <laughs> he got that on there. He got he, hey, he got the height. He 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 got the size, the speed, the skill. Like I said, he touch and not get touched. He's not going to let you touch him that easy at all. You're going to have to work for it if you want to get over it. You're going to have to work for it. Yeah, man. I remember the first time I talked to his dad, you know, they said Lolo had sparred against a Tank. Lolo and Tank had a sparring session. And you know, you know how that went. You know what I mean? You know, Lolo did his thing. As his father said, he did his thing against a world champion like Tank. And Tank ain't no hope. At 17, for him to get down like that, you dig what I mean? That was great work. And that's a great way to, uh, to you know, show your skills, improve. And, you know, you do you, you, you put a performance like that against the Tank Davis, you could talk a little shit too now. Come on, man. Especially being young like Lolo, give my young boy his credit. He came in there and handled business. What? Well, when was the first time you seen Lolo? The uh, videos you had uploaded. Oh, so that was your first time seeing Lolo fight those vi videos I just put out? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Damn, I'm happy I put them out there, man. You know what I mean? Because this kid right here is something special. All right, B, his, his first fight he won by second round knockout. Second fight. He stopped him in, the, uh, I believe, the fourth round, round number four. He's getting better and better. You know what I mean? He's making improvements every day. It's all a learning process at the end of the day, you know. Charles Harris told us he's doing everything possible to make sure his son becomes successful in the sport of boxing. You got to respect that. And he's living up to the expectations. Charles Harris and his son Lolo, they both living up to their expectations. 
Yeah, accomplishing their goals one by one. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? He kind of remind me of a, a young a young Terrence Crawford. I, I got to be honest. With every fighter, I do a fighter comparison. You know what I mean? I, I always do that. You know what I mean? Fighter comparisons. And um, one thing about Lolo, I believe Lolo, he got some uh, he, he got some skills, man, for real. He kind of reminds me of a young Terrence Crawford type. You know what I mean? Only 17. You know, the sky's the limit. Maybe he can be, become better than Terrence Crawford. But Terrence Crawford is one of the best fighters in the world. One of the best in the world right now, IB. You know, just knocked out Kell Brook in a fourth round. I believe Lolo and Terrence Crawford, they got the same birthday. And also, T T Terrence Crawford is Lolo's. That's his favorite fighter. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that was his favorite fighter, but that performance that he displayed Saturday night, you can't take nothing from that. That was great. Give Terrence Crawford all credit for getting a Kell Brook out of there in that fashion and the time he did it in. You got to respect Kel uh, Terrence Crawford, Crawford's performance in that fight, 100%. You can't take nothing away from that performance. I don't know if that was a jab or a hook. But hey, it landed perfectly and it got Kell Brick out of there. Yo, what up, Charles? What's good? Charles Harris in the building. What's the deal, H? What's uh -huh. good, man? How you feeling? Oh shit, you know, same old feeling good. What's going on with you? Man, we we chilling, man. I'm live right here with my boy IB. I hear that happening? brown. What's happening, Cotton? What's going on with it, man? You Charles like Harris you got, in the building. You look like you got some of that fried chicken going on. I know you had fried chicken <laughs> one night going on. I was looking at that shit like, nigga, pass me a piece, I B. Nigga, hey, I swear I wanted to tell you that the way you were smashing on it. I said, God damn, this nigga. Yeah, we, have, we, having a, we having a breakfast for dinner tonight, man. The bacon and the smoked sausage and the eggs and biscuits and cinnamon rolls. Breakfast for dinner tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do. I, 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 I know them reversals. You feel me? I, you know, every every nigga knows about them reversals. You feel me? You gotta be able to switch it up at night. Sometimes it it falls like that. You know. Yeah, for sure. That's real nigga shit right there. We ain't gonna tell them too shit. much though. For real. We ain't gonna tell them too much though. Nah, nah. But you gotta. You feel me? Sometimes you gotta open the cabinet for these niggas. You know. They be, you feel me, on the other side, and they don't even know how to get in. They don't know how to do regular shit like that, you know? But, yeah, yeah, on everything, what's going on with y'all, though, man? How, how y'all feeling you know, tonight? You feel we me? feeling good. It's a celebration, man. You know, young Lolo, unbelievable fighter. 2-0, you know, the, Lolo's one of our own. I can you know, honestly say that. A fighter that I, I've been a part of, you know, his career since his first fight. You know what I mean? To now to... Leading up to his third fight. Yeah, you've been watching him for a little bit now here, H. You feel me? You've been tuned in since I told you about him. You know, uh, you know, it is like you like you said, uh, you talking about Terrence Crawford, you know, uh, in the comparisons tonight. You know, I wanted to touch in on that, you feel me? I mean, the only thing, you know, I gotta be honest with it, you feel me? Like you know, two different fighters, but I'm, I'm going to say the comparisons. Comparisons are, like you said, they do share the same birthday. They got, they, they both competitive. My son, hella competitive. You know, you can obviously see that on, but, you know, um, and, and they're fighters. It's almost like they're fighters first. You get what I'm saying? Before boxer. You know what I'm saying? And, they, and my son got that type of fight he's a fighter first you feel me he like to come check it out um you know um and, and and he don't mind taking a shot you know what i'm saying uh you know but you know like i said so, you know to take chances you know you got to take chances to be great you feel me you know in this game you know what i'm saying and that's 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 real you feel me like uh say what you want about tank he took a chance you feel me uh, getting past all them little jabs and, and right hands or whatnot he, he had a couple of those to get to, to to get in his range you feel me of where he wanted to put him you know you know so uh 
you know, that power is a, uh, is a lot. You feel me? Uh, like I said, it's only, uh, Lolo's only 17. So we ain't touching on that man strike yet. You feel me? We just trying. Yeah, to but he, he, he knocking, he knocking niggas out though. He yeah. out there, he knocking niggas out though. Well, you know, he's doing his thing thus far. You feel me? We just on our second fight though, you know? Going on into our third right here on the 28th. You feel and me? I can't lie, man. That last fight, Lolo, that straight right to the body, back to back, boom, boom. Hey, them, that was one of the crispiest straights to the body I ever seen. Hey, hey, oh, you know what I'm talking hey. about? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, and he, hey, he did it back to back and he looked his opponent right in the eyes and shot it straight. Like, he didn't even look down at the body or nothing, like, because he knew he was going to score. It, and it hit the same spot both times. Right, right, right. Hey, old boy was, old boy was tough. He was a little tough when me go out there. You feel me? He was doing this little thing. You feel me? You know, he's running into a lot of shit. I give him that. You feel me? Like you said, you got, you, you almost wanted to give him a hug after. You feel me? Because he was taking, you know, some of those shots, you know what I'm saying, that you could see up close up there, you know. Um, but like I said, we ain't even touched our man strength yet. You feel me? He's 17. And, uh, you know, we always trying to get better and better by the day. You feel me? Nigga don't dwell yeah. on no. Hey, we, we, we ain't the type to dwell on the last fight. We keep it moving. You feel me? We keep it moving because we trying to, like you said, get, get him seasoned. Get him seasoned out there. Season the young the young lad. You feel me? Yeah, he hey, uh, he's a killer. One thing about Lolo, he's you know, he's relentless. You know, he's a he's a savage. He wants to get the knockout. He likes knockouts. Well, I mean shit. <laughs> Nigga, he hey, he done. I can't say that you're wrong in that statement there. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> he, he do though, hey, for real, it's true. Hey, he he likes to get knockouts. I know he do. You know, but but what what fighter don't, right? You feel mm -hmm. me? Everybody everybody wants to knock out, right? There's something got to be wrong with you if you want to go in there and just boxing. You know what I'm saying? All night, you feel me? It's it's this is one of them sports where it's like, you know, you got to let your nuts hang. You feel me? To, to, mm -hmm. the, to the extension that they can hang, you feel me? You know, and, and you know, but it's also sweet science too, you feel me? So you got to mix all of those in one, right? You Absolutely. Can't just go out, you just can't go out balls to the wall, you feel me? You do got to, you got, you do got to put some game, a little bit of game behind it, you feel me? And hey, at least until you get to the age of Crawford's, you feel me, where you where you could just. You feel me? You just your your power is whipping like that. You feel me? That nigga, that nigga's strong. You feel me? But he's got pop. I believe you're born with pop. You know what I'm saying? You know, and uh because Black Friday starts shit. now at center. You know, I seen Lolo do a lot of stuff in the gym, so you feel me? You know, I I would like to say that I I think he has good pop for his age, you feel me? You know? Yeah, that, that 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 part of the boxing the boxing perspective, how boxing your opponent, patience got a lot of lot to do with that too. That patience. That's good, that's good and all right, but but then you got to have that crowd pleasing shit. You feel me, right? You you want to please the crowd at the same time, you know. So it's a mixture of both, right? You don't want to be so boring that you just box, 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 and you never try to rip and, and hurt you feel me you want you you want to mix that in there you feel me that's all you know we only got we only got four rounds so you feel me you know uh like i said hopefully we're moving up to six rounds soon you know you feel me, man? Hey, yo Charles, this right here lolo second fight you know um yeah. i'm gonna play the whole that, fight take it you see, he had that little bounce going on, you know. He had a little bounce going on in the background there. You feel me? You know, you know something, something about when a fighter feels when when he goes out there. You know what I'm saying? I was I was hearing the cat talk earlier about about uh on, on on the ropes channel. He was talking about some 
you feel me? It ain't no fear coming out there in the ring and all that type of shit. Like, you know, uh, I think as a fighter, every fighter, it's a certain fear. It's just how how you're able to hide that fear and, and, and control that fear. You feel me? As a fighter, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody's got that little, you know, you know, until they probably get in, until they get into the ring. You feel me? And um, and everything just turns on. You feel me? Yo, uh, so, Charles, this is my little brother right here, man. And I saw my little brother, Lolo. You know what I mean? Um, tell him what you seen, little bro. When you seen Lolo fight them highlights I showed you, what did you see in Lolo? I seen, you know, a lot of potential. And I seen that he dominated his opponent. That's what I saw. Pure yeah. domination. What about his hands, though, nigga? You know, he got hands, man. He's gonna he's gonna be one handle of them next bars you gotta watch out on. Hey, hey beach hey. hey beach cruiser handle bars, you feel me? Hey, hey, hey from San Bernardino, nigga. West side, nigga. Yeah. You hear me? West side for real. You represented from the West Coast. How does it feel to you know being that you know that new that new era of California boxers? And I believe this was on the Ashton Silv undercard. Is that correct? That is correct. So oh, yeah. how has it been working with Ashton Silv and you know uh being on those fight cards? Man, it's nice, yeah. man. It's nice. It's nice. I like the camaraderie that they got. You feel me? Um you know, we all, we, you know, it's like we, you know, they go pretty deep down there. So it'd be about six or seven, seven fighters. You feel me? Staying down there. And we all have some rooms out there on the beach on Rosarito beach. You feel me? And, uh, you know, um, beautiful view. You, you look out the windows, the ocean right there. So, you know what I'm saying? It was, a uh, it was a nice time with them, man, because they, they believe in, handle a business. You got all these fighters that are tight tight and everything and controlling and controlling their energy before the fights, right? And then after the fights, they can all laugh, smile, and you feel me, go have a good time. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and that's the that's the the the, the good thing of having a lot of cats out there, you know. And, and kind of doing your thing and the camaraderie of that is cool. You feel me? You know, and uh, and they cool peoples. And uh, and Ashton's a little. Uh, he's a he's a dog himself. So you feel me? He you know, he got his own little special talent. His way he do his thing. You feel me? But uh, but so I see Lolo hitting him with the jab and body shots in this round. Um, you uh, right. could you tell us a little bit about the body punching from Lolo? Is he a body snatcher? You know, Lolo's an all-around fighter, man. Lolo's all around. He, he, he's touching. He likes to touch everywhere on the cat. You feel me? He likes to slide them things in, as you can see. You feel me? At, at you know, at different points. You know, so you know he was just investing some stuff downstairs in the bank. You feel me? You know, he can see how the guys breathing. You know, uh, you know them fighters. They pick up on all of that type of stuff. You know. And, uh, yeah. I seen Lolo rip into the body though, combinations to the body, great body punching, and um, I like the movement as well. Lolo was able to make a miss, he missed a lot of shots in there, and using his footwork in the movement. Mm -hmm. Movement, hey, you gotta have feet, you gotta have feet in this game, you know that, right? I mean, because uh. Whenever you ever heard of a great flat-footed fighter, let's talk about it, huh? Um, can you absolutely name you, the best? The best fighter for the box. Yeah, can you name me one great fighter that was just flat-footed? Huh? Who flat like George Foreman? Somebody like George Foreman? There you go. But George just had he had dumb strength. You feel me? He had he he had, he had that type of grown man uh, dumb strength. You feel me? You could get away with it when you're that big like that. Mm -hmm. Heavyweight, yep. You but know? the best the best fighters are the boxers, slick boxers for sure that can punch. Right. Can but the punch. boxers are the best though. I'm taking a boxer over the puncher any day. I'm saying Lolo's a natural puncher, 
But now I'm seeing the boxing. Even in, in the amateurs, I seen Lolo was a great boxer as well. He could use the movement. Look at that right hand. Mm -hmm. That was a beautiful right hand right there. Mm -hmm. And look, he punched with both hands too. Yeah, he got yeah, power yeah. in both hands. Yeah. And you keep touching that tank down there. You see, and keep putting nickels down there in the in the, in, the, in the piggy bank. You feel me? That nigga's putting nickels right now because he's 17. Yeah, hey, they get to be in them half dollars and everything. You feel me? Let, 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 let it turn 18, 19. You feel me? And let him, let him start getting that, that different zip. You feel me? But uh, I'm happy right now with him at 17. I'll be honest with you. You know, I'm, you know, we're just, we just getting started with this, but you know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with what he's done this far. Absolutely. He just, he's just getting started though. You know what I mean? But to, to turn professional, I remember when you, when I first talked to you, Lolo was, you know, he was, he was just about to turn pro and uh, leading up to that, he, he sparred with Tank Davis and, uh, you know what I mean? How ha how has Lolo improved since his uh his first fight? Well, uh shit, we got a longer camp. You feel me? That shit was done off of some two weeks. You feel me? We ran out there. You know, this was a, a camp and a lot of rounds and stuff. You feel me? So his boxing game is on point, you feel me? Um, you know, so yeah, yeah, that, that's pretty much what's going on now. You feel me? And we got the team back, like I said, you know. I got my boy Ian back with me and shit, so. Oh, you know. there go the flurry right there. Look at that combination. Oh, backed him up. Right hand lead, Lolo. Lolo the coldest, man. Go follow him right now on Instagram. Show the young man some love. Only 17 years old, and he's making it happen. Chasing his dreams, you know what I'm saying? He had to go out there and take it. He went out there and took it from him. You know what I mean? Took the win. Relentless, right hand, jab upstairs. At 17, man, the sky's the limit for this kid. You know, uh, Lolo, he's looking to be a champion. He's looking to be a legend in a sport. You know what I mean? How, how is that, you know what I mean, that process? as a father and a trainer when you got a son that's chasing greatness like this you know what when you say that it's it's like this man if you you know if you're feeling like that you know what i'm saying you got to be able to lay down the carpet the right way for him you know what i'm saying meaning you got to be able to make him focus on the next fight. Mm -hmm. That's and that's it. You feel me? Um, not the last fight, next fight. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, one fight so, at a time. So, well, that's 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 the type of mentality that we got when it's said. Hey, when it's all said and done, after we'll, we'll come and look back at all that, like you said. You know what I mean? But but but. But, it, you know, if you're really that guy that's chasing greatness like that, you're just looking about being better the next fight, every fight. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting better and better. I, so, just, I just I just seen uh, Lolo get in that high guard right there. You know, that's something. Look at that. Look at that, bro. Popping him with the jab, that. getting close, walking him down. Man, he's sharp, though. I'm, I'm serious, man. I mean, of course he's gonna get better. He's 17. We just he's just getting started. But right. that, I mean, to, it, it he he looks like a, a great fighter. You know what I mean? He looks like a great fighter for sure. Right. Yep. But you know, like you said, one fight at a time. Jab to the right. body, picking his shots, and that jab to the body was hurting him. You know, knocking the wind out of him. They ain't. That's not your ordinary jab. Let's talk about the jab real quick. How how low low jab is different. You know what I mean from the from the rest of the fighters. What makes his jab his jab one of the best? One of the best. What, what do you mean for for as far as his as far his as jab? How how we could jab a motherfucker face off? Well, you know what? You know what I think. Uh, Lolo's always had a jab since he was little, you know, um, 
But, uh, you know, he has a good jab for a 17-year-old. You feel me? That's what I like to say about it. You feel me? He's got a good jab. You feel me? Uh, for his age. You feel me? But, um, yeah, but, the, the jab, yeah. We, we, you know, we, we think everything behind the jab, right? I mean, yeah, if you're keep a, going. You're a fighter, yeah, you want to be a smart fighter, You everything should come up behind the jab. And then you can start opening up like that with, with left hook and right hands. You know what I mean? Once you see where the head is at, where it's going, if it ain't going nowhere, you know, all that type of shit, right? It, it, he got power behind that jab, you, you would say? Would you oh, say yeah. that? Yeah, he got snap behind it. He got some snap for sure behind it. But, uh, you know, like I said, we, we you know, we just, we just 17 right now, so. You know, I want to see, you know, what it gets like, you know, when he is 19, 20, you know, that type yeah. of shit. But I say he was in that, I say he was in that high guard for sure right there, bro. He keeping that shit tight. You know, defense, yeah. defensively, you know, he's making some, yeah. some great adjustments. And I'm loving what I'm seeing from his defense. Yeah. You know what I mean? But he's, he's going to get better and better, bro. But yeah. you can see yeah. he, he could definitely punch, though. He could yeah. definitely punch, bro. Yeah. At 17, that you know what I mean? That's you really don't see that from a young fighter that could punch right. like that. Right. Right. So now you feel me? We'll come down here on the 28 to see what we can do there. You know, that's almost fight time. You feel me? So we grinding and uh working right now. Hey, I want to talk about that uh that that Terrence Crawford comparison a little bit more. Because I think there's a lot of similarities as well as a as a boxer puncher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as a boxer puncher, and that is Lolo's favorite fighter as well, though. Right. Well, what you want? What you think? I mean, you know. Yeah, I, I, told you I what think, I think. I, I think he's just. I think they're they're both two mean individuals. You feel me? I think that my son has definitely got that that meanness about him. You feel me? Um, a quiet, a quiet meanness. You feel me? It ain't like a, you know, he's got a quiet meanness. You know, so he ain't, you know, but he's a mean guy. You feel me? And he fights mean. You know, uh, so yeah, De definitely, definitely, bro. But you know. I, 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 I'm loving what I'm seeing, man. You know, the second fight, he looks spectacular. He's doing his thing. He he sees he got a, a man right there in front of him, and he going for the jab to the body, you know, picking his shots. Like I said, a powerful jab to the body in the high guard defense. You know what I mean? Right hand to the body to the rib cage. He going to the rib cage on him. Jab upstairs by young Lolo. Lolo got Harry. And you gotta say he got a pretty decent shot selection now. Huh? Hell really, yeah. I mean, we we just getting started, I know, but you know, that ain't Ooh. a bad you feel me. He knocking the wind out of him with that. He understands it. Oh, look at the right. Oh, the right hand. Accurate quick, too, man. though. He was accurate right. with it. it. Hey, it's quick. He, he's accurate, he's accurate, he's accurate puncher though, right? He going to the chin with it. He going, he know where to hit him at and stopped him. And that's that. Right. Stopped right. him. No, they ain't over yet. Oh, they, they got, okay. They, 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 was, they had to come go observe him. You feel me? They want to make sure everything was cold and whatnot. Did you still want to go? You know, he had his little girlfriend out there in the crowd. You know, he still wanted to go and shit. You feel me? How is it out there, though? Do you know uh -huh. what I mean? In Mexico. I ain't going to lie to you. Now that I got uh, I got my boy Ivan out here with me, Ashton's Pops, right? That nigga, I told you, he's got, like, the keys of the city out there. He, <laughs> he's the man out there, you hear me? So, I mean, yeah, I, I can feel comfortable again just sliding around. You feel me? Uh, doing what I got to do. You feel me? So. Mm-hmm. You know. Hell, yeah. But he, he continues and Lolo got him beat. Lolo knows it too, man. You know what I mean. And uh, as lo look at the flurry upstairs, he's he's willing to get in the, in the exchange. I see that he want to throw hands. Look at him. Oh, oh, Lolo with the flurry. He on him. Lolo for the kill. 
Get him out of here. Him up in that corner. He tore him up in that corner. Hey, tune, hey, he tuned him up right there on IV. He tuned him up like a like a stereo system. Hey, <laughs> he had to put the tune up on him. On my mind. Hey, that, hey, hey, but like you said, when you get when you get uh, you know, he want he he felt he felt it was that time, and he put his foot on the gas. You feel me, the young buck. You know. Gotta say, I was proud of him right there. You feel me? I'm a proud father. You know, I don't know about these other cats. You know, you know, I ain't saying that we're the best and none of that. I'm saying I'm proud of my son, though. You feel me? And what he did. You feel me? You know, and um, you know, every father should feel like that about theirs. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I'm no different than any, any other father at the end of the day. I'm just blessed with love. love. Hell yeah. You know, Lolo went out there. A mean guy. You feel a (laughs) mean guy, right? That they got that dog in him. They will fight you. You know, um, like I said, you 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 said that thing about tank. Like you said, that shit was that was a that was a hell of a day. It was a great day that day, you feel me? That was a great day of of, of experience, you feel me? You know, and that's that shit that's where it started. You know, that's, that's where, well, for me at least, that's why that's I first where it boosts it. That boosted him in a different way, for real, for real. You feel me? It did. It put his. But that tank like, did. With yeah. tank. Th- yeah, he yeah. felt like, oh, oh, you know, you know what he told me at first. He told me he said, "Uh, I thought you was gonna turn it down, pops, and be like, no, nah, tank's a little too much right now." But he said, when I heard you was pumped. He said, I, I began to get pumped. You feel me? You know? And, and and shit, he's just saying the way I believe in him. You feel me? He understands. You know what I'm saying? You know, and that them, them special kids at 16 to be able to understand that type of shit and, and tune your body in. And we wasn't even really in the gym like that at this time. You feel me? I look back at all that. You feel me? We was just, you know. We was just around and I just got frustrated like that and went down here to Vegas. But, you know, for him to go ahead and answer the bell down here in front of Floyd while Floyd talking shit to my to my son in there. You feel me? That shit was hard to me. For me, this nigga's coaching against my son, you know, and and Lolo's in there and got everybody uh, out their seats, nigga. They got out their seats after that first round. Nigga, everybody pulled up on the ring, nigga. Like, hold on. Who the fuck is this little nigga right here? He's, he's, <laughs> he's not. He, he's over there walking tanker around this motherfucker. Who is this little nigga? You know? They wanted Facts. to know. You feel me? And, and, and you feel me? At that at that moment, nigga, I was looking at my son in there. You feel me? With a, with a 25-year-old nigga in his prime. You know? And that shit felt good, nigga, that, that I knew that I knew that he had enough to go with this nigga. You feel me? I knew he had enough to be able to handle himself and not get hurt in here with this nigga. You know? And they didn't know that. The shit I did. You feel me? You know? That's what happens when you, you know what I mean? When you believe in your son and you you take chances, right? Mm-hmm. You gotta Absolutely. Take chances. You gotta take chances to be great. So it could that spar could have went and fucking backfired on us, nigga, right? Could have fucked around and knocked his, his dome off, nigga. And I would have been pissed and mad at myself, nigga. You know what I mean? But I didn't feel like nothing like that was gonna happen, man. I felt like he'd been doing it his whole life. And and he's athletic and me and my pops had always said it around 16, you should be able to fuck with the varsity team. You feel me? You know, if you're a phenom, if you call yourself a phenom, you should be able to fuck with the varsity team. No, you know what I mean? All rules go, nigga. Like, ain't no hold back. You feel me? You know, we didn't go in there and tell Floyd, oh, he's 16. Like, can you chill out? Nigga, we went in there like, nigga, what's happening? Mm-hmm. What's happening? You feel me? Like, nigga, let's do it. Let's do it. You feel me? Not so no he- scary ass niggas. You feel me? What no scary ass niggas. Low, low. Hey, wasn't no scary niggas that walked in there that day. Hey, you feel me? Nigga. Yeah. You know, that's how it is in California, though. You know, out there in Southern California, like, you know, out there in San Bernardino, it's, it's tough. 
it, it's, it's hard coming out there. You know, a lot, a plenty of killings, people getting killed every day out there. Mm. You know what I mean? How is how is it? You know what I mean? Of uh, Lolo, you know, boxing out there, and you know, he is still he's still in the hood, and you know what I mean? Is how is it, bro? You know, man, I seen. I, it's crazy you say that. Two cats just got killed yesterday. I was in San Bernardino. Uh, two cats. You feel me? You know, so that shit continues to pop. You know what I mean? Like like the Fourth of July out here. It's, you feel me? You really got to stay out the way. You know, uh, you know that's what we try to do. Shit, we just we just trying to go hit run with this boxing shit. You feel me? Of course, you know I grew up out there, so you know a nigga know how to slide. I know how to slide that way and slide which way, and you know I know what's going on. I keep my ear to the street. You feel me? You know, and uh, you know, but you know we doing our thing. You feel me? Which is boxing. We stay up out of that bullshit, you feel me? Because we know, and I, I just be reminding them that we ain't, this what could be happening, you feel me? If you chose that other path, but these niggas is getting knocked down like like it's nothing, you feel me? You know, and you know, they ain't got no shooter, you feel me? So it's just like that, you feel me? But, uh, you know, well, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to have the city shine for something, for something beautiful. You know what I'm saying? With Lolo, you feel me? And, and, and get them motherfuckers something to, to sit back and celebrate and watch the fight. You know what I'm saying? From a nigga from out that way for, for them to, you feel me, be able to enjoy. Right? You feel me? Um, you know, yeah. of course, down the line, you know, where the whole San Bernardino stand up and the whole Inland Empire and Cali, like you said, the whole thing. You feel me? Um, but right now, like you said, it's one step at a time, baby. One step at a time, right? You so, feel me? Yeah, I got you. So when you was, uh, you know, were coming up in the amateurs with, with your son, Lolo, right. how was that? Lolo was, you know, he was recognized as the number one amateur, number one amateur right. at 132, 132 pounds, you feel me? So how was that, being a national champion and now – making his transitions to, to, to a professional, you know, mm -hmm. he, he's fighting in smaller gloves and everything like that. And, uh, you know, he, he was one of the chosen few to do that. You got a few young fighters, you know, uh, Devin Haney, I, I believe, uh, he started at 17. You got, uh, other fighters like Ashton, he doing it. Jalil Hackett, he, he waiting, but y'all, y'all really went out there first though, I believe. After Devin, it was y'all that did that, if I'm not mistaken. Well, I don't know who all did that shit, you know what I mean, when it's set and done, you feel me? But what I do know is everybody know out here in the Cali and Southern Cali that Mexico is, you feel me, the place where, you know, uh, you can't go pro at 15. You know, we, we, we're we aware Canelo did that shit, you feel me? Let's be honest, yeah, but Canelo, from Mexico, Canelo was a pro. Yeah, but I'm just saying he was pro at 15. You feel me? Yeah, so, yeah, but so for, so he for was American is different though. For an American fighter, no, nah, American go could go out there at fifteen too and, and fight professional. That's what I'm saying. I, like we, it's been known that you know what I mean. You could turn pro. Yeah, you yeah, you, you can do that. But I'm, I'm just saying, saying because I'm in you gotta be from over there though, because he got, was born hey, there. Hey, it's a little different though, because that's know, his country. But you gotta understand, we only an hour or two away from the border, so you know what I mean. It's a lot of cats. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know. You know, but anyways, you feel me? Shit. I, you know, I'm, I'm just, I turned pro because I, shit, I thought he was, you feel me? I thought that yeah. he could fight. You but, know, hey? Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, I thought uh, he was number one in the nation. Okay, let's be honest. Okay, now this is, this is the reasons why I really turned pro too, is I, you know, he never won the nation. You know, um, I felt like he could get with any nigga on that USA team. You know, it's just how I felt. You feel me as a pops. You feel me? You know, um, you know, and, and maybe I'm a little biased, but that's how I, you know, that's just how I think. You feel me? Um, that's how we talk, me and him around here. But you know, we don't talk like that out public. You feel me? You know, we just do, we just do us. You know, um, but uh, you know that 132 division was a tough. You feel me? With no little walk in the park, you had to, you had to get out there and box. You know, and do your thing. Lolo uh, proved himself out there. You know. And uh, like I said, if you're if you're a phenom, if you call yourself a phenom, and you think you got a phenom, then 
you know, at 16, why, why, why wait until he's 20 years old to go to the Olympics? You know, we would have had to wait till he's 20. You know, I'm like, you know, that I wanted a gold. You feel me? I used to talk about it. I used to be on the fence with that shit. H. Like, oh, man, we could bring a gold to the Dino. But, you know, when it was said and done, I'm like, man, wait until he's in the dub. This nigga special right now. You know, that's just how I felt. You feel me? I feel like he's special. So, you know, everybody had their own opinion. You know, I'm Pops. You feel me? I, I feel like he's special. You know, um, that's my honest opinion, you know. But, you know, like I said, that 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 tank shit, that, that catapulted him. Um, his, he was always a confident nigga, though. You know, let me, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, for him to uh, look at Tank while he's swinging his arms around in there uh, before the fade and, and him to say, at that point, I wanted to fight him. And I wanted to, and I wanted to handle. Him. I mean, for a sixteen-year-old to say that, his mindset was that you know what I'm saying. And age, that type of shit shows me the type of dog this. Shit. <laughs> Come on, baby, this nigga's a yeah. fucking dog. He be telling me shit to have my fucking hair stand up in my arms, nigga. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, <clears throat> nigga. He be in the car. This nigga be telling me shit like this, man. I said. Nigga, he's a fool, man. He's a fucking fool. But he be dead serious, H. There don't be no fucking giggling with him. None of that, man. And, and, and that's what type of nigga Bud is. So that's when you say that comparison, bro. I sound mean like that, nigga. And, and, and he's humble at the same time. So he give y'all the good humbleness right. But he's a mean. Between me and him, he's a mean, my fuck. You know what I'm saying? You know? You know, when you hear that type of shit, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, a 16-year-old say about a nigga that's 25, you know, he's not starstruck or nothing. He just tunes in like that. Oh, man. I, like I said, it's one thing if you got the 16-year-old running around from this nigga, you feel me, get in here, and he starts moving around, running around the ring from him, nigga. But, you know, for that nigga to be, like, right there up on you, you feel me, for all the rounds, he showed what type of nigga he was, you feel me? In front of it, you feel me? Nigga, you got me fucked up. It was, you got me fucked up that day, you feel me? Yeah, you should have put the video, you got me, Floyd, you got me fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga, so how was it being nah. in, the, in the gym with Floyd, though? You know what I mean? You know, Arguably the, the greatest fighter, you know what I mean, that ever lived, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, yeah. and your son, and Lolo, to... to to, to do his thing against Tank, his his top fighter, and Lolo did his thing against him. You know what I mean? That's crazy though. That's just that's just you know what I mean. You know, hey, it ha it, it happens. It, it happens. Happen. Things it, happen it, in it boxing. Happen. Yeah, it, it was just it wasn't meant for him to crash my son at that from here. Try to swerve my, my little nigga because I told you that same little Santa Cruz uppercut. He was strong. <laughs> That nigga tried that shit up in there, nigga. Believe me, that shit did not hit. Oh, yeah. That nigga was you a, he jumped a with it. You see, yeah, that motherfucker that, had jumped. That's not, you feel me? That's not for the work in here with the with the guys that's, you feel me? That was a little bit more alert and everything, you know? You could, you know, you know, we're not going to throw three, three straight right hands in a row for Tank to do that. So, you feel me? But, uh, yeah, yeah, man, that, that, that did, though. All in all, that shit gave him a lot more. I think I think it boosted his confidence to a different level. You feel me? It took it there. You feel me? And um, you know, he said, "Imagine when I'm 25, Dad." He said, "I ain't gonna ain't gonna care. No 16 year old gonna be able to get up in the ring with me like that." <laughs> That's the type of nigga he is, though. H, you feel me? He's a dog. You know what I'm saying? You know, but he's <laughs> yeah. Quiet. He's a quiet, humble nigga, you know what I mean? So he's a dog that, you know, he's the right type of dog, right? You don't want a dog to, boot, to, to fucking bark all the fucking time, nigga, you know? You want one of them quiet motherfucking pits that you don't know, nigga, that bite your motherfucking ass real fast. You want one of those. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? A red nose, a red nose pit. He a pit bull, you know what I mean? 
That's we breathe them out there in California, man. Like, you know, what I mean, Russell, what you see Russell Westbrook in the NBA, Lolo, he just he a different type of animal. He a different type of breed, bro. That's what I try to tell him. Well, like you said, that's the to be determined. You feel me? And uh, you know, but you know, I like our chances. You feel me? I'm gonna say that about shit. You know, I like our chances. Baby. You know, when it's said and done, we're gonna see, you know, one step at a time. Nigga, we got the 28th to fight on 28th. You know, I'm, and, uh, I'm pushing for Lolo 2020 prospect of the year. You know what I mean? I believe he, he should be a candidate, you know, at 17 years old, you know, going for his third win, his third win right. prospect, possibly a prospect of the year coming up in boxing for real. Seriously, though. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'll tell you this much. He always be my prospect, nigga. You feel me? When, hey, shit. <laughs> You know, I, I'm always gonna look at him like he's uh, that guy. But you know, like I said, man, we 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 really for real though. H, we taking this shit one step at a time, fight by fight, nigga. We got our next fight coming up. You feel me? And uh, you know, I'm I'm looking forward to uh, uh you know, doing, you know, doing our thing, man. We 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 looking forward. Lolo's looking forward to it, you know. And um, we're gonna see what happens. Yeah, yeah, we we know you what's know. gonna happen. We, just we gonna know box. what's gonna happen. We, we yeah, I ain't gonna be sharp. Uh, you know, Lolo gonna beat his ass. Lolo gonna we, beat his ass. Right, I hear you. I yeah, hear you. yeah, yeah. That, that's what I'm on. That's what I'm on, bro. The, right. Lolo is a young phenom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's a, he's a young phenom in boxing at 17. Right. Right. He, he represented. He represented. Every time he go out there, bro, he get better and better every day. Yeah. He getting better and better every day, bro. That's that's what it's all about. And that's I that's what it's all about. Boxing is a sweet science. It's a sweet science when it's said and done, right? It really Absolutely. is. You just you, you just got to have that excitement and mixed in with it. You hear me? Right. You gotta yeah, have, I, have I every, you, every, you mean like every, mixing every, it up and taking your chances and things like that. Yeah, tearing here, you feel me? But but I think every fighter does to a degree. I think it, you know what I mean? Um, it's all in the temperature guy you are. You feel me? To which way you turn it, your your collar up and how you turn it up. You know, that's all. You feel me? I think every fighter's got that, pretty much every fighter's got that type of switch, right? You know. Yeah, and yesterday, yesterday I had uh, Sam Sam Arnold the third. He's the number one ranked amateur boxer. And when I asked him about Lolo, he said Lolo is the coldest. You know what I mean? He said Lolo is the truth, and that shows you his his peers respect him. Other sure. great fighters, other great amateur fighters that came yeah. up in the rankings, they got respect for Lolo. Yeah. Yeah, I can dig it. Sam, shit, shit. Sam, like I said, I'll chill with his pop, him and his pops and watch the fighter too, I think. Up there uh, at the Nationals, we kind of sat near each other. and You know, they cool they cool folks. They're regular people, like he said, man. You feel me? They cool. I ain't got nothing but love for all these all these young black fighters. You feel me? For all the young guys. You feel me? I, I wish them all success, you know, because at the end of the day, that's that's more work down the line with, with them young cats. You feel me? That you know what I mean. So you push for all of them guys that you seen in the nationals and all of that, man. That's that's what it's about. We want positive energy coming out. You know what I'm saying? Not no negative shit. You know we want to stay positive. You feel me, H? We want that type of war around Lolo. That positive, good energy. Not that old hate. Yeah, energy. yeah, absolutely, bro. Hey, not no hate mass energy. You feel me? What'd you say, bro? What'd you say? I said not no hating ass energy. I said we, yeah. we no, you know what I mean. When no, no, nobody want who wants that aura around them. You know what I mean. So, yeah. like I said, at the end of the day, all the young guys, you feel me? We, 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 we hope they do well. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> who wishes on, on somebody's downfall? You feel me? You got to be a weird nigga to do that. You know what I'm saying? It means you say, hey, you feel me? Of course. Um, you know what I mean? Why do you want to see him do that? 
You feel yeah, absolutely, me? But, you bro. Know, you, you, I, hey, one hundred. You right that's about that. That's how you gotta that, be, man. right? In my, in my and age, that's how you gotta be, man. You can't be. You, you feel me? I real, wish I do good, and I hope this nigga loses. You feel me? Nigga, hell no. I'm I'm rooting for you, man. And you keeping it one hundred right yeah, there, man. man. I feel you. I feel you, yeah. bro. We got it. We got it. It's competitive, but at, hey, it's competitive as this sport is, and for every kid to be able to go in there, like Sam Arnold, you feel me, Mario, Lolo, and all these cats, you feel me, to go to these nationals and, and weigh in every morning, you feel me, and fight. You know what I'm saying? Four or five straight days in a row. I know Lolo's fought five days straight in a row that last national. You feel me? You know, and, and he had to he had to earn that motherfucker. But I'm saying you gotta take your heads off and the cast is doing that shit. You feel me? So like you said, yeah, it ain't no hate. We we congratulate, man. You know what I'm saying? We we that type of we letting off that sting. You feel me? Not most cool with all them cats and he, you know what I mean? He, he keep it cool and you know what I mean? Cause he ain't, he, Lolo ain't no hater. He knows who he is. And when you know who you are, you ain't got to fucking hate, right? You know what I'm saying? Cause you already know who you are. Why do I got to worry about, you know what I mean? Putting out some bad energy towards this guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, so yeah, man, you know, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't preaching that type of stuff over here, man. You know, we just trying to be the best Lolo we could be. You feel me when it's said and done. But you know, that's just what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we getting closer and closer to the third fight. You know, what what do you uh what do you predict for the third fight? And uh, what can the fans e expect in the, uh, Lolo's third fight? And, and they should I say to uh, stay tuned now. You know, but uh, shit, I don't know. Nah, nah, for real, for real, we're gonna go out there, and he gonna he gonna follow the game plan like he do, and and, and, and you know, as far as far as Lolo, he gonna get in there and he gonna do certain things. That's Lolo too at times. You know what I'm saying? It's just you feel me. Just as far as quick twitch type shit. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, he's gonna he, he's gonna answer when he feels like answering, and you know. And he's gonna move when he feels like moving, you know. So, you know, as long as he stay, you know, uh, ahead of the game, you feel me, and sharp behind the stick, I think everything else will fall into place, bro. That's how you got it. You know what I mean? We're not, we're not, we're not preaching knockout, knockout, knockout over here. I, I just want him, I want him to do the best, you know what I mean, performance that he can put on. And now, if the knockout comes, presents itself, then of course you'll see it. You know what I'm saying? Just stay relaxed. You feel me? And and and, and, and kill in, in, in an educated way. You feel me? That's all. You feel me? And, and um, you know, but but it don't. If it don't come, it don't come. You still want him just. You feel me? If he comes out of wins, he's 17. He touched his man strength. So you kind of want him getting rounds at the same fucking time down here, age. You feel me? I don't want him just sleeping shit. And Parking shit, you feel me? What's that nigga learning from that? I want him to get some rounds. You feel me? You know, I mean, I, that's what a father should want at that age. You know, I want my son to get some fucking rounds. I don't want him just putting everything out quick. You know, I mean, you look at you, like I say, you look at uh, my boy Berlanga. He got all that pop, right? He got all that pop and shit. But you know, I'm everybody's curious, like, what if he fights Charlo or something and goes past six rounds or something? You feel me? Like, does he? Does he know how to go that way? Uh, what does he start looking like at that point? You feel me? You know, uh, you don't want everything just power. That's all I'm saying. You feel me? Of course, you got to have that high IQ with, right? So uh, does uh, Lolo have a manager right now? No, nah, we're flying solo right now. Solo okay. Dolo. You feel me? Solo yeah. Dolo, for sure. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, yeah. Uh, Lolo, solo, you feel me? All that shit rhyme and all that, you know? Yeah, 100 for sure, though. Well, what you think about, uh, you know, getting with a, a promoter or th things of that nature? I think when the time is right, it'll be right. You feel me? You know, and, and, we'll, and we'll know it as a team collectively and everything. You feel me? And, and, you know. Is the top rank yeah, looking yeah. good? What you think? I mean, I think the first time I talked to you, you said top rank. Top rank will be your first uh, choice, I believe. Along, well, the first time we talked, and um, 
You know, you see Terrence Crawford with top rank. He's doing a great job once again. He just won by knockout, knocked yeah, out. He's about to, he about to shake top. He about to shake top rank, ain't he? I mean, people be speculating. You know what I mean? They, they say a lot of things. You know, you don't know what to believe because he ain't said nothing. He just fought and he ain't said nothing. Yeah, but if they got if they got Bob Aram already bashing him on there, that that's because he is gone. You feel me? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta think it. You feel me? He's gonna go with Eddie Hearn. He's really going with the zone. You know? He can probably go with the zone that and get that break. Hey, nigga, that nigga's gonna climb in Earl Spence and Danny Garcia and Porter's backyard, nigga. He's gonna hop over the gate over there. You hear me, right? <laughs> 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 the mean kid in the hey, the mean kid in the park is here. Listen, everybody's gonna scatter. You hear me? Hey, hey, but they can't run too far because we're all in the same room now, nigga. I'm in your backyard, nigga. He's going to hop in their backyard, nigga, and say, nigga, what? <laughs> nigga, who? You feel me? And let's do that. You feel me? Let's do that. Al, Al gets all the bread. Like, the well, he's he's the fucking, he, he lets the fighter get most of the bread. You feel me? You know? And, and shit. And they make a big million dollar fight. You feel me? Pay-per-view fight. You know? So climb over there. He, you know, you know, he want to go out and pad his bank at least. You feel me and have the rematch clause with it and everything. Come on now, you feel me and, and everything. Both of them niggas come to something like that. You feel me and uh, you know they both get paid. At the end of the day, nigga, it ain't about you know. It, it, it's about it's about legacy and. How you felt, how how good you can do as, as yourself, as your individual self. Niggas be trying to hype, hype themselves up with Floyd and all that type of shit. We don't want to, you know, we just want Lolo to be Lolo, nigga. We ain't trying to look, search for no niggas record. None of that. It's a whole new time. It's a whole new era. You got, they got to get out of that type of shit. You feel me? You got to be the best you you can pull off out there under them lights. You feel me? The hell with trying to be like somebody. You got to be you. You feel me? You know, and you got to look at the next fight. And like you said, after your career is done and all that shit, then you look back at everything. Right? Yeah. What, what you thought about uh, Terrence Crawford's his knockout against K Kell Brook? You, I mean, you predicted that, I believe, man. You know, you speak yeah. highly of Terrence Crawford. Yeah. Well, I, I told you, it's too, he's hitting with too much pop right now. He is too much pop. I mean, that boy's, he fights mean. He's hitting with too much pop. Once he gets in his distance, in, in his distance, once he gets in that area and, and he's throwing hard, it ain't too many cats that's going to stand up to that, man. You know, I got to be honest with you. I, I see him, um, I see him clipping Earl, too. Be honest with you, bro. You feel me? That that hand speed is gonna be too much for him. You hear me? That hand speed first and foremost. You see, Kel Brook was giving Earl problems with that hand speed. That he was touching him. So what do you think Bud's gonna do? He's gonna hey, he's gonna step in there and zip shit hard and fast. Hey, listen, listen to me, man. You feel me? That high guard, he's splitting that shit with that left. You hear me? He's splitting that. He's punching all straight through that, right? And, 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 and he's throwing that right hook behind. And the cold part, like I said, is he takes uh, Earl Spence's southpaw advantage away. You know, a lot of people, nobody's talking about the, the whole bottom half of the fucking fight is with your one with your legs. You feel me? So while you're used to fighting all these orthodox, he's going to turn around, fight you southpaw, and beat you right here. <laughs> You feel me? And that's what's going to happen, bro. Watch. So, so uh, you got you got Terrence Crawford beating Earl Spence Jr. You, you got Crawford beating him. You think Crawford to stop him? Yeah. I got Crawford stopping Earl. Damn. I, I like Earl. I, I'm not hating on a nigga or nothing. I'm just saying I see what I didn't seen out here. And, <laughs> nigga, I've been saying it. it it's not, you feel me? He's really, he's, and he's used to sitting at Walter Wade right now. So the pop is just all there now. It wasn't like even the Jeff Horn pop where it took him longer to just beat the fuck out of you. Now that shit is just sitting on him like mustard and mayonnaise sandwiches. You feel me? 
He's just, he's just, I don't got to come in buff. I'm already a good, legit Walter Wade. I'm hitting hard, you know. <laughs> you feel me? And, and, and that tells you all the muscles, you feel me? That shit means nothing in this fight game for power. You hear me? Motherfuckers be, you know, trying to bulk up like Incredible Hulk out here. You feel me? And they want to do a million uh, pull-ups and, and, and sit-ups and shit like that. And they get in there and they ain't got a fucking lick of power. You feel me? Uh, you know, muscles mean nothing. You feel me? You know, you, you either got that pop or you don't. You feel me? But 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 I, I just believe a puncher is born. You feel me? You're born a puncher. You know, I don't think that's something that you just develop. Like you just, a guy with regular power doesn't just develop into big power. You hear me? It just doesn't happen. What he does is he irons, he gets older with his shit. It don't just turn into just devastating power. I think you're just born a knockout, a, a puncher. You feel me? But that's my opinion of it. You feel me? You know, so, you know, um, what you think, H? Yeah, you already know. You already know, bro. You know, hey, man, Crawford is, I think he's a great fighter, man. You know, you, you've been telling me, you know, I, I, I seen it a long time ago when he beat Gamboa. When he beat Gamboa, I knew he was the truth right there. You know what I mean? So you, Gamboa ain't no hope. He ain't never been no hope. And Crawford, man, the man, you know what I mean? Three three different weight classes. You got to get a man's hey, credit. Hey, 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 and knocked everything out in Walter Wade that stepped in the ring with him. I mean, niggas ain't saying that. It's and they would think everything you know, bro, bro, down. A lot of, a lot of people take everything down, down as a Walter Wade. Hey. That nigga's strong. He, hey, he's putting everything down as a Walter way. He is that type of nigga. He does have a type of pop where he could fuck around and beat a 54-pounder nigga and be a 54-pound champion. Because he's not that tall and all, but the nigga got enough zip and pop that uh, if he gets in his range, you feel me, <laughs> he can clip some 54s too. You feel me? He's strong. He's strong like that, bro. You know? And he's a puncher. You feel me? You can see it on him. I could, if you go back and watch all of his old fights, I, I could see it from there. I'm like, oh, he's just got pop. He hits with pop. You can see it. He just got pop. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Go back and watch some early fights at Bud, nigga. You'd be like, God damn, this nigga has pop. He just got like, he don't even look old right here. You know, when he had the braids and all this shit, that nigga just had pop. You feel me? And, uh, you know, Lolo's this is just a coincidence. Lolo was born on the same day as this nigga, you know, that's tight, <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, definitely. You already know, you know, he doing his thing, though. Th three different weight classes, making it look easy. You know what I mean? So. I got to give him his credit, man. And, like, you've you been telling me, like, this the guy, like, H, Crawford is nice. You know what I mean? Lolo is right. nice. That's that's Lolo's favorite fighter. He's a dog. You know what I mean? A true fighter in right. and out the ring. He's a true champion. You know yeah. what I mean? A family uh, man. Uh, hey, a family man. Yeah, did, been didn't, shot, I name, been shot. Did, didn't I name the attributes? I said he's, he's, he's fast. He can pop. He don't mind. Even if he gets hit, he's coming hard. I mean, he's mean in there, and he fights mean, I, I, and he just acts mean. I mean, that's who, that's who he is. So cats be wanting to fault who he is as a person. I mean, you just, you're supposed to be judging him off of his, his boxing, man. No, fuck all that What a nigga, how he is out, out the ring and, and all of that. You're supposed to judge his boxing. And you gotta say that he's a he's he's a dog. You feel me? I like a mean guy like that, man. This is fucking boxing. I like a mean motherfucker like that that don't that don't say too much. Lolo's a quiet nigga like that. He don't be wanting to be in the interviews and none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? He don't want none of that. He just be like, you know, I just want to fight, Dad. That's that's it. You know what I mean? I don't be really. You feel me? I'm like, man, you know. But you know this. It's just who he is. You feel me? I see some guys, you got to respect their temperature of person they are. You feel me? Everybody ain't no fucking social bug. You feel me? Some cats just don't talk. You feel me like that? Just, you feel me? 
and, and, and if you've ever seen like, you know, Lolo at a national, you know how quiet he is and tuned in he looks, you feel me? It's a different, you know, and the confidence after the weigh in and all that type of shit. That nigga's a he's different. <laughs> you feel me? But uh yeah, you know, that's just what it is, you feel me? You know. Yeah, yeah. Right? You know. Yeah, yeah. You, you already know. You know what's up, man? Like, like, you know, what I mean, I've been, you know, I pay attention to all the young the young fighters, you know, up and coming fighters. And one thing about it, Lolo, you know, he always stands out. You know what I mean? He all he always does, bro. You know what I mean? You know, so that just says a lot, a, a lot about him. What what does that say about him as a fighter? When you got all these these great young young fighters, and uh Lolo, he you know, what I mean, he getting respect, he getting respect from from a lot of fighters, you know what I mean? He a lot of fighters respect him. He earned that respect. He earned that, bro. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can he, dig it. Yeah, he, yeah. he earned everything that he got, bro. Nobody ever gave Lolo nothing, bro. Lolo yeah. out there working. Working. He, he grinding. Right, he grinding. You right about that, for sure. Hard working nigga, you hear me? He ain't just like you said, it ain't just Tyler. He's a hard worker, you feel me? He's a hard worker. You feel me? And uh, so it makes it easy as a father and a coach. You feel me? With it, you know, you know, because he is that that type of guy. You feel me? So, you know, even like I said, I, I can be sleep, and he could be running. You feel me? Uh, that's what that's what type of cat Lolo is. You know, he do his thing. You feel me? Like he don't got like you said he he don't need nobody. You feel me to tell him go? You feel me? And uh, that's what I like. You know, you got to be like that. You got to you got to you got to. You got to love and want that shit like that. Like, you feel me in this boxing game, right? You know? You know yeah. You, you can't be the type, you know, you know that nigga, don't, he, he don't be like no PlayStation, none of that shit when it's training, maybe training and locked in. He don't, he don't want none of that type of shit, you know? But after all of that, he could go back to whooping niggas asses on 2K, you feel me? He's he, he's a fun guy, and he got all his partners on there, and they be running and all that type of shit. So, you know, he does his little thing. He's still a, you know, he's still a young man, right? Seventeen, he ain't even hit eighteen yet. And uh, we looking for a third fight out here, age. You feel me? So, you know, we just ain't tuned in, man. You know, you know, we just gonna do what it do. Right. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, you know, bro. Yeah. Yeah, you already know what it is, man. The fans love him though. One thing about Lolo, he got a fan, a fan fr friendly style, bro. Fan friendly. He letting his hands go and he bring a lot of excitement. You know what I mean? People want to see that. Right. People want to see that, bro. But you know, like I said, he's he's only gonna get better and better. Lolo's only 17. You know what I mean? He got a, you know what I mean? He got a lot to do. He got a, a lot to accomplish, a lot to learn. You feel me? Right. Yeah, yeah. He's got a lot to, he still got a lot. He still got a long ways, bro. Like you said, we just at the bit, we, we barely at the beginning, man. And, and shit, at the beginning, even feels good. You feel me? So. Hell yeah. You know, we're just going to keep it going, man. You feel me? One step at a time, right? Hell yeah. Right now, one step one step at a time for him, he's knocking everything out. He's knocking everything out. So I know he's looking forward to another knockout, knowing him, you know what I mean? Knowing him, you know, since the amateurs, he was laying shit down. He was knocking shit. He was knocking people out in the amateurs, low, low. If you don't know, bro, you seen the highlight, bro. He got a, he got a, he, he didn't have a knockout. He wasn't knocking shit out. I mean, but he's got a knockout up there. You feel me? A, a good and, knockout, uh, though. That shit was yeah, cold, it, though. It was, it was out. He was definitely out. You feel me? But, um, you know, it was a good shot, right? It was a good shot, man. You feel me? And, you know, like you said, he's still, that was just 16 year old strength. You feel me? And, 
Now he's 17. And pretty soon he'll be 18. All right. Gene, so, he doing his thing for sure. One step for, sure. for sure. For sure, bro. You know what I mean? But yeah, he getting better and better. Like that second, that second fight, man. You, you told me like H minute. You know what I mean? He did. He did it. You know what I mean? He, you know what I'm saying? He executed the game plan perfectly in that second fight, perfectly. Right. Right. But he can get better, of course. But he of was course. doing his thing, though. Right. He, you know what I mean? Yeah. He yeah. understands. Yeah, he had to. He had to go. He had to go see the. He had to go pull the playbook out and execute, and he did. And he seen, and he, you feel me? So. You know how this fighting fighting shit go. You feel me? You see shit. You realize what you can do, what you can't do. You feel me? And uh, you know, you learn as a fighter, man. They they gotta learn up in that motherfucker. I hate to say it, but it'd be like you feel me. It's like you throwing them in the pool all over again. You feel me? They got they do have to learn a little bit. You feel me? Fuck, they fight grown men. You know, um, at times you feel me. So, you know. You gotta you gotta stay on point and, and you know but 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 like I say each fight a fighter should be able to see something different and what he, what he sees what he can do what he can't do kind of you know that type of thing man you know and, they, and they're gonna look to just mold you feel me and and, and be able to be uh, as exciting as they can be you know um, you know Lola got a lot of little offensive weapons on so, you know uh, I want to. I, li I like how he mixes shit up. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, man. You know what? You do a great, a great job with your son. You you do a great job as a trainer, and as a you know what I mean as a promoter. You know you're doing your thing, bro. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you're it. doing it. Yeah, you already know that. You know what I'm saying? You know you know how to talk that shit. You be talking that shit, bro. All the time, but listen, <laughs> I be you know it be all fun. It, this 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 you feel me? This is just like you said. This is like this is like barbershop conversation. We just talk talking that shit, right? We just talking shit sometimes, and sometimes it's cool to just you feel me tap in and talk a little shit. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You feel me? Everybody, like you said, I think everybody got their their own little thing, but you know, boxing is all. I'm trying to make I'm trying to make Lolo all tired great, you know what I mean? What is all said and done. All tired great like a like a Terrence Crawford, you feel me? Three division world champion. Lolo might be better than Crawford, you feel me? One step at a time. H wants to see. See, there you go, looking down the road. Like I don't look down the road. It's a vision though. It's a vision as a promoter, you know. I'm a promoter you. though. Hey, hey, coming from your eyes, I, I get it. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, of course. You feel me? Like I Hall of it. Fame. Look, you hear me? Hall of Fame, legacy, just all 17. of that. She just seventeen, age. We gonna get that IBO. Let that Let's nigga get that IBO strap though. Let that nigga a hey, let let him get to his. You know what I mean? Let, just enjoy the set. That's what I tell you. Just when I tell people to tune in with those, just just enjoy. A 17 year old man, you know, fighting and, and, and like you said, and, and still fighting with no headgear and all that type of shit at this age. Yeah, you feel like yeah. they can do it, you know what I mean? Um, you know, so just be able to appreciate that, you know, because we ain't like you said, we not at the end of the day, he ain't touched his, his man strength yet, you feel me? And, and uh, you know. So we just like you said, one step at a time, man. He said he's watch his great young seventeen year old. I feel like he's I can say that, but uh, you feel me. But uh, here's what it is. He's you see what me. you see what my boy Andre said. He said Lolo a monster, bruh. You hear me? That's how they feel. You know what I'm saying? That's the people though. They know what they see. Appreciate Who am I to argue with the fans? I appreciate it. Man. You feel me? Man. It's confirmed yeah. though. You got a monster. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. how I'm going to promote him. Monster. You know, right. you know, if you feel me like Riddick Bo, knocking hey. niggas out like Riddick Bo. Hey, 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 Andre, I, I'm the type when I hear something like that, I just say, Shh, turn the light off, nigga, and, and 
cut the credits. You feel me, nigga? I, I don't want nobody. It's like, I don't, you, you, H is the type. He want people to know I'm the type to be like, shh, let him creep up on me. You know what I mean? Just stay tuned in, you know? Let him creep and do his thing. You feel me? Like you said. But I appreciate it, though. Appreciate I'm, the love. I'm promoting low, low. I've been promoting low, low. I'm going to continue to promote low, low. Oh, God. You're going to keep You feel me? Yeah. See me? I'm doing my job as a promoter. You know what I mean? I'm going to do more. Hey. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm rocking with you. I'm not capping, though. I'm not capping. No, no, I ain't saying that. You feel me? You know, we've always been signing. The promotion promotion out there with Lolo, Uh world class at a young age. You know what I mean? So since I met him, you know, with me and you as a team, Look, you know what I mean? I pulled up different locations. You know what I mean? We brought it to the table. That nigga Lolo on God, nigga. And I put I pulled up on people about it, bro. You know what I mean? And, that, and that's that. And he doing what he doing. And now it's time for to, to celebrate what this kid has accomplished because a lot of people ain't, ain't did what he did at that age from America because you said Canelo, but Canelo from Mexico. I'm saying American fighter. That did that, like Lolo and like Devin Haney uh, and them. Benavides you know what I mean? did. Yeah, Benavides did too. But he, he, he Mexican though. But I'm saying he's from over here though. You feel me? But a black uh, fighter though. You feel me? A black uh, fighter yeah. though. I hear you. Yeah, because that, that means something. Because fighters like Archie Moore back in the day, you know what I mean? They had they had murderous role where black fighters couldn't fight with Charlie Burley and them. You know what I mean? They couldn't even uh, fight, bro. They had to fight each other nine times, my nigga. That yeah. shit was fucked up. Yeah. Well, you know, he's pro now. Ain't no turning back, right? <laughs> so we're just going to take our time. You feel me? We're going to take our time, but keep him. You feel me? Keep a little seasoning on him. You feel me? As much as, you know, as much as necessary, right? And uh, <clears throat> he's young. You know, you're not taking no punishment in there in that ring at that age like that. If you're, if you're right, you feel me. Um, so, you know, you kind of want to keep him rolling a little bit, All right? What you think, age? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, Lolo knocking shit out. <laughs> you feel me? That's what I'm on. This nigga Lolo fucking shit up, bro. He's a, he a dog. He a dog. That's what I'm on. Hey, that's a fact. That's what I'm on. And that's how we, we should approach it, you know, because he's doing some great things. And that's that's how, you know what I mean? That's how I'm going up. Uh, that's how I'm going to promote him like that. And, it, you know what I mean? We getting better and better every day. And that's what it is. Right. You know, I can see Lolo, you know, on a PVC, fighting on, on the zone. I can see that happening real soon. You know, there's a lot of people talking. Uh, I, I seen, uh, you know, some reports, possibly Lolo, you know, with the zone. Is 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 that in, in, any truth to that for those that that's listening? Because, you know, I'm not starting rumors. People leaked it out. You know what I mean? It was a, a the zone offer or something like that. Is that is that clear? Can, 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 we, can we clear that up real quick, bro? Hey, hey you know what I'm going to tell you to that age? You you never talk business in public. You hear me? You feel me? You gotta know that. Be, you know what I mean? You know, that's just you feel me being you know, I'm 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 thirty nine, not twenty nine. You feel me? Hey. You know, that's just being honest with you, you feel me? I'm a I'm a man before anything, like I said, we just you know, like I said, we just looking at the next fight. You feel me? We ain't thinking about no promoters or none of that shit, you know, we just look at the next fight. You feel me? For sure. For sure. Yeah, man. You know, bo- boxing is the best sport, though. For real. It's the best. I mean, wh- where do you rank Andre Ward in your all time greats? Because, you know, you from California. I know he from Oakland. How, how how do you rank the career of Andre Ward? Oh, what was a bad boy? Shit. Uh, you said, how would I rank him? Oh. Yeah, like with the greats, like with with other fighters. He's a bad boy. He was great at what he did. You know is, what is he top one hundred? 
For sure. For sure. Is he better than like fighters like uh Joe Kawasaki? Who's better, Ward or Kawasaki? I got Ward. I got Ward. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah, Ward, Ward did his thing. He was great at what he did, man. I like shit. Ward was a hell of a fighter. You know? Everybody's, everybody got their own style, though. You know, you never see Ward's style. It's It was his shit. You feel me? It was, you know. So when a lot of guys be trying to do certain styles, I mean, to me, that shit, you know, uh, you know, I, I'd rather just see you nat naturally be yourself in the ring. You feel me? We don't be like telling another nigga, go into the shoulder row at this point. No. Uh, just do you. We want you doing you. If you have to pull, if you do pull that out, then that's the, on you. I mean, you're feeling that moment or, or something at that point. You're aware in everything. You feel me? I mean, you know, but you know, I'm, and I want him to be himself. You feel me? He ain't trying to be nobody else. And that's the that's the beautiful thing about Lolo. You feel me? We ain't trying to be nobody, but Lolo. You feel me? Lolo got his own little style, his own little lane. You feel me? You know. Dang it! But so, hey Zeus, uh, Valdez, he said, "Was good, homie. Good work at the gym tonight." He said, "Some good work. Y'all had some good work at the gym." Oh, okay. Hey, Zeus. Hey, Zeus okay. All right. What's up, hey, Zeus? Hell yeah, it was some good work. We stay grinding, you feel me? He's, he's a cat that was at the gym, I guess. And uh, shit, yeah. Shout out to my boy, hey, Zeus. What it do? Yeah, he said, for sure, man. He said, you know what I mean? Good night. For sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Appreciate you yeah. coming through. You know, you know, we come here talk that boxing. You know, I'm a big fan of uh, Andre Ward, Bernard Hopkins. You know what I mean? I feel like Hopkins was one of the greatest fighters of all time. When you talk about skills and a determination with, with heart, undisputed champion, you know what I mean? M middleweight, the greatest middleweight of all time, Bernard Hopkins. Be he beat De La Hoya, Felix Trinidad, Kelly Pavlik. You know what I mean? He beat a lot of niggas, man. Antonio Tarver. You know what I'm saying? He smashed Tarver. The, the dude was a beast. You know what I mean? The, the, hey, he beat Winky Wright. Come on, Winky Wright, my nigga. Winky Wright was a killer. And Hopkins beat Winky. Hopkins was a, a problem, bro. He beat Roy Jones. He beat Roy, bro, in a rematch, bro. Punished Roy Jones. Punished him. You know what I'm saying? Hopkins was better than Roy Jones, bro. I got to be real with, with, with everybody, bro. What? You know what I'm saying? And Roy ducked what? him. Listen, Roy did duck him in the rematch. Listen, we got to be honest here now, H. Listen, I'm, he ducked. I'm, he ducked him. Listen, well, I'm gonna tell you about like this. Roy had way more raw talent than, than Bernard Hopkins, right? You hear me? His meaning his hands were way more athletically gifted. Um, and that's but what he, he was. Out, hey, listen, he was a freak of nature in his prime. You hear me? I'm talking about Roy that was putting his hand behind his back and knocking shit out. Come on, man. <laughs> I ain't talking about you. You might be talking about old Roy. Now, old Roy, because his he didn't have no defense, so his legs got shot, you feel me, later on, and he couldn't move around off his off of his legs. He started getting clipped and all of this shit. Yeah, I'm talking he got about, knocked, listen, he got knocked I'm out. talking about the young though. Roy. Nigga, I'm talking about the young Roy. Yeah, but Hopkins still was better, you know what I mean? And Hopkins called yeah, them out, you know what I mean? And Roy was talking about 60 40, trying to, trying to duck Hopkins, and Hopkins pulled up on him. You know, in the rematch, Roy seen what happened. That. you seen what happened in the rematch. Hopkins wh whooped his ass, bro. He punished Roy. He punished Roy, bro. You know what I mean? Hopkins, that nigga, bro. 49 years old, unified champion, bro. The nigga is. Hopkins, bro, beat knocked out Trinidad, bro. Come on, bro. I don't remember that. Fight. He knocked out Trinidad, undefeated Trinidad, bro. No, I Roy don't remember that. He didn't even fight Trinidad like that. No, bro. I'm saying I don't remember him uh, whooping your boy, uh, Roy. In the rematch, hell yeah, he punished Roy. He punished him, bro. But you know that's a debate, though. You know what I mean? Well, they could do it a third time. I got Hopkins in the third fight. Hopkins getting. <laughs> 
How can so, he fighting right. Mike Tyson? Who, who you got in that Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson, Roy Jones fight. Who you got in that fight, bro? Man, I... shit, I don't even know what that shit. Man. I got Tyson. My, my, you know, Ty huh? Tyson. Tyson, bro. Yeah, I, you know, I've always I love Mike Tyson as a fighter. I love love Roy Jones when he when he was in his prime as a fighter too. That nigga was hard. You feel me? He had his hands was was crazy, ridiculous speed. You know. You know, so yeah, but yeah, Mike already how, called it Anthony Joshua. I see that. I seen that too. Yeah, I'm like, oh my god, Mike trying to get paid again. Mike want to pay some bills, nigga. You feel me now? Nah, ain't no telling, man. I, I I don't hate on anybody. You feel me? They he still want to do it at that age. Go ahead. Some of these guys they can't give it up. They love that shit. Facts, facts. I got Mike Tyson though. I think Mike Tyson gonna knock him out. I told you, bro. Roy, come on, man. Hopkins, he wasn't getting knocked out like that, bro. Hop, he was outboxing everybody. Better skills, bro. More discipline, bro. A better athlete. He lived a better life out the ring, bro. Hopkins was that nigga. You know, you talk no, about. Hey, he wasn't Mark a better Eddie. athlete. Hey, he wasn't a better athlete. They said Roy yeah, Jones cool. played. Hey, listen, Roy Jones played a better whole, fighter. Hey, listen, Roy Jones played a whole game in his gym at his crib. And then went on and fought the same day. <laughs> you go, you can't tell me he was more athletic. Hey, listen, he wasn't. This is the type of cat Roy was, man. See, you be for you be sleeping, man. Don't sleep, man. Please don't sleep on old Roy. You hear me? Because he's he, he's he's far better. You talking like he wasn't that guy? He was really that guy at one point, like that guy. Yeah, like Hopkins was that nigga was making hey, that nigga was making songs and all types of shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, it's man. Let's knock him out. And then Parker knocked him out, bro. That shit he got later on. I mean, I, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Tarver was whooping his ass, bro. Nah, you know hey, what listen, I mean? That's old, that's old Roy. Nah, nah, that's nah. He just won heavyweight championship. He wasn't yeah, old then. That's the he old wasn't old, bro. Man. He got beat. Why would he get Come beat? On, bro. Bro. The nigga, the nigga back, that was bro. in his prime was a middleweight, bro. Floyd ain't get beat like that, though. Hopkins wasn't getting beat like that. Hey, listen, 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 listen. When you say that, Floyd, Floyd wasn't fighting niggas like that. Yeah, he, he was, though. What Floyd niggas fought niggas every fight. Canelo. Niggas. I, you said niggas, man. See? Yeah, I'm saying he fought, he fought Mosley. He fought Berto. He fought, fought Mosley old. He fought old ass Berto. Come on, man. Zab Duda. Count. Zab Duda, count. Duda, bro. Demarcus Chop Chop Corley. He, he fought, fought, Ju he fought Judah. Everybody knew Judah was only good for six rounds when he fought Judah. Everybody knew that. So when he fought Judah, it was a good decision. Come on, name another one. Ooh. Corrales, he fought Corrales. He fought a lot. Oh, Diego. Corrales. That was when he was in his little day when he had his pop. See, I like Pretty Boy as a fighter. I didn't like Floyd. Yeah, Floyd that's what I'm saying. Floyd. Floyd. Money, May, Money May, Money May was born as a fighter. But he was Pretty better Boy, though. I think listen, Money May was listen, better Pretty, with Pretty Boy. Pretty Boy was way more exciting. You hear me? Way more spectacular fighter. Just being honest with you. You feel me? A lot of people don't even say that. You feel me? Uh, Floyd Mayweather, you know, I mean, Money May, that nigga, that nigga's game. Because you know why, though? And I'm going to be honest, because he was in the division that he was a small guy in the division. You hear me? So he took less chances, right? When he was fighting them little 135 cats, he was, he was putting paws on them boys down there, right? He went to the big boys, you feel me, and the Walter Waits, you feel me? And he's a small Walter Waits. So he didn't take he didn't take he didn't take that many chances with the Vernon Forest, with the Antonio Margaritos, you feel me, with the with the with the Paul Williams, you feel me? He never he never took them chances with them guys when they were around, you know what I'm saying? Saying and talking shit and calling him out. You feel me? No, he was strategic. You feel me? Strategic with his with his fifty, nigga. A lot of people don't talk about that, you know, but it is what it is. You feel me? Nigga, don't, you know, don't, don't, don't act like you feel me. And, 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 and he got a lot of people in a cherry picking way, you feel me? Because of the way he did his career, you feel me? 
I, I think I think Floyd Floyd he one of the best. You know what I mean? The one of the best ever, bro. Huh. No, yeah, definitely. Gifted, Floyd, gifted. I'm not I'm not hating on this boxing. I'm just telling you what it is. You feel me? It's, you know the way the shit the, the way the cards fucking fail, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah he like, be nigga, a Pacquiao too. You know? he probably old ass Pacquiao. I get it. No, I'm saying. I mean that 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 means not that was that was Miguel Cotto. Everything was a was a good decision. That nigga ran. Hey, he was managed hella hella good. I tell you that much. You hear me? That nigga made when he did fifty, nigga. You feel me? He was managed good to make bread and for sure when he won the fight. It wasn't nothing that you ever thought that like this nigga's gonna beat him. This nigga's gonna beat Floyd. You feel me? He's fighting a dangerous fight. This fight. You feel me? But you know he was managed right. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, man. I, I fuck with Floyd. I think he one of the best. You know what I mean to ever do it. You know what I mean. Um, mm -hmm. I like his resume. I I, res I respect Floyd. You know what I mean. Uh, I think as a fighter, he did a lot of great things. You know, like Hopkins. Hopkins was more like a Floyd type. You know what I mean. Uh, Roy Jones a little bit too much flash for me though. You know what I'm saying. I like the fundamentals a little bit better, bro. You know what I mean? Can't be too too uh, re reckless like that, bro, and get knocked out too many times like that. You know what I mean? Bernard Bernard was able to to adapt and make adjustments as an older Bernard fighter. Bernard started Bernard started getting his ass knocked out the fucking ring, nigga. Nah, he nah, he's not a fighter. Nah, hey, 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 they just that nigga like a suitcase out there. Nah, nigga. hell nah. I don't nah. want to hear that he, shit, nigga. Hey, nah, hey, he's they, doing hey, that nigga. Bro, he got injured. Nah, he got back nigga, up. Hey. Hey, that nigga got nah. like a lawn chair, the nigga. Ring. They hey. cheated him, bro. He got hey. cheated. Hey, I swear. He got folded like a lawn chair. Nah, they cheated him, bro. You know, I'm telling let's, you, bro. Let's keep it 100. Yeah, let's keep it 100. Nah, he keep him in the booth, Come though. on, baby. We in the, hey, when we in the booth, you got to keep it 100 with me. Nah, you know he, he, didn't, he didn't land the, the punch, mean, though. I'm got, just saying. He, the he got his ass. He got his ass. Joe Smith Jr. Joe Smith Jr., he didn't land that punch, though. He didn't land it. He threw him out the ring. He got injured, bro. All right, I'm you telling you. you, you know I mean? Nigga. Hey, hey, you the type of nigga to see me still on the nigga and say you didn't see me still on him. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> I swear I didn't see it, nigga. I'd be like, nigga, what was you thinking? Nigga, he was right there. You feel me? And, and the nigga be like, you can't figure it out. You feel me? I really can't figure it out, but you know, some niggas is just like that. They do things like that. They move differently. You feel me? Yeah. Hey, Floyd, Floyd, that nigga. Floyd been that nigga, though. You know what I mean? Hey, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh -huh. So, uh, so with Floyd, how is that relationship? You know what I mean? Do you, you mean, you feel like y'all could work and make fights with each other and shit like that? Y'all could work with each other in the future, you believe? Cause he know your son. He, he, I mean, of course he's seen them fight. Shit, I mean, you know, we ain't even thinking about no fucking Floyd, nigga. Think about Lola over here, nigga. You feel yeah. Me? <laughs> hey, 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 and that's it. Listen, listen. When, 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 when Lolo do what he do, man, that, that, that's all we can do right there. We're gonna do it like how we do it, right? And, and I'm gonna tell you like this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm if, just saying. If, 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 if you are that nigga, nigga, hey, if you are that nigga, they'll see, right? Right. Yeah, I'm saying if with you, a potential fight with Tank, though, that's a big money fight. That's the fight that I want to see with, with Lolo with Tank in the future, though. Okay. A big fight, pay per view fight, like you know what I mean, super fight. That's like I think that's the the biggest the biggest okay. fight for, for Lolo. It's, it's, it's probably gonna be another young gun if we do go down that route, H. You feel me? And that's, that's just me just gazing away. But but I, like I said, we're doing one step at a time. You feel me? Uh, remember, we, we still doing one step. I, I get where you're coming from from that. Yeah, we're, we're Tank, a big but, money fight because they got history but, with each other. But no, nah, they, they they had a good sparring. You feel me? That was some good work, man. We, you know, shit, we appreciated that, you know. At the end of the day, we got to share. Yeah, we got to share the ring with old Tank. You feel me? So, as, as mm -hmm. professionals, how you think uh -huh. that fight will work out with Tank? Though, like Lolo in his prime with a Tank, like just for, for, further down, like with, with some belts on the line for some millions. You know what I mean? A big fight. How you think that fight will play out? 
Uh, I mean, like I said, Nick, I can't look ahead. But you, you still keep trying to veer me off the road. I told you I got to look what, what's right in front of me. I let I let everybody else think about shit like that, man. I don't. You feel me? Remember, man, we looking we looking at the next man up. You know what I mean? So we, I, it's too far for me to even think ahead. You get what I'm saying? Hell yeah. After that uh, sparring session, <clears throat> after about hearing, hearing, you know what I mean? Knowing what happened, the whole world, they know what happened. I just feel like a fight, you know what I mean? In the future will be, a, that, that'll be a big fight. You know what I mean? That's as a promoter. I'm like, that's right there. That's the one right there hmm. for Lolo. You feel me with tank, you know what I mean? Settle it for millions. Cause he was acting like that after the fight. Then he go beat up on Leo Santa Cruz, who was a, a motherfucking, come on, man, came up for 118. Come on, man, he was a flyweight. You know what I mean? Hey, Lolo's a baby compared to Tank right now, nigga. You feel me? You got to remember that. But we still, you feel me? We got to come on, come on, H. We got to come back yeah. to reality sooner or later, nigga. You can't have me with my nose in the fucking sky, nigga. You want me to just wander off into the stars with you, nigga. I, I, I ain't the type. Usually, you talk shit and tell your bitch the bitch little sweet things in her ear that she want to hear. You can't tell another man shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You got to, you know, one, a nigga's going to just keep it straight up, nigga. We got to see what's right here at us. You feel me? Yeah, there ain't going to be that. no gazing off into the stars with me, though. You feel me? Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying that that's the fight right there, though, bro. That Tank Davis fight for sure. Because you still want to go there. You still want to yeah, go there. Yeah, that's the fight in the future, though. Mm -hmm. in, in the future, that's, what, that's all I said. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, that's the fight right there, bro. You know what I mean? Got to see that in the future, bro. You know what I mean? You still going to go there. We just spar it was just a sparring session. H? H? Yeah, just yeah. Listen, listen. We're going to, I'm telling you, Lolo got to do his thing. He got to be able to. Do his thing. We gotta see also H who's coming up and, and this nigga's ranks around his times and all that type of shit. You know, uh, that that's so far fetched. That's what I, that's all I'm telling you. You feel me? That we can't we can't you know we can't begin to look nothing like that. You feel me? Lolo's a baby in the sport and tanks in his prime. Like it's not even a conversation. You feel me? It's worth you feel me talking about. Oh, at least they scored. <laughs> that was it, nigga. <laughs> Feel me? Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm just I'm just saying that's why I asked you about Floyd though, like yeah. working with Floyd and doing some business. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, well, you know, I I don't know what the future holds. Like I said, man, I think we're not. We're just thinking about the next fight. But uh, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let you rock out. You feel me? I know it's getting late, man. You know, it's been good. H as usual, we've been talking that shit for a minute. You, yeah, you already know. You feel me? You already know. You know. You. Yeah, you got to get with you, bro. In a minute. Well, For sure, right. though. Go. You know what I'm saying? Big fights, man. You know what I mean? Lolo doing his thing, man. He looking sharp. He working hard, you feel me? And that's how you got to do it. That's how you got to do it, bro. You know what I mean? Talking about future world champion. Future world champion, low, low, bro. He taking it to the next level. You know what I mean? Ian Franklin, you know what I mean? Appreciate that. Hit that like button, though. Hit that like button real quick. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, this kid's special. This kid, nice. You know what I mean? Future world champion, Lolo. He working hard, getting knockouts. What's up with it? What's up with it? Hit that like buddy. You know what I mean? They say the next Ter Terrence Crawford. Lolo, the next Terrence Crawford, bro. You know what I mean? That's what they saying out here, bro. You know, his, his second fight, it got the people talking. I put up the highlights, man. They going crazy. The fans going crazy. Yeah, I mean, the best, the best, the best. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? 
100, though. You know, one thing about me, man, I only fuck with the best, though. That kid Lolo, man, representing California, man. You got to stand up, man. You got to feel me, though. This that California love, man. West side. West side, you dig? West side, bro. You hear me? You know what I mean? Hey, listen. The next big thing. The next big thing in boxing. The next big thing in boxing. He want that smoke. Lolo want that smoke, though. Lolo want that smoke. You know what I mean? Gary Russell. We'll take a fight with Gary Russell Jr. He's still running his mouth. I don't want to see him talk about Lolo like that. Lolo would knock his little ass out. Gary Russell Jr., nigga. You feel me? He going to knock out Gary Russell, bro. Oh, God, bro. Yeah, you know I mean, this is how we work it, though. We taking it to the next level. Hit that like button right now. Future world champion, boxing sensation. You dig? Young Phenom. The young Phenom. You dig? Low, low. Only 17 years old. 17 years old boxing phenom. Low, low Harris. Charles Low, low Harris. 17 year old boxing phenom. Charles Low, low Harris. Let's get it. You dig? You know what I mean? I'm telling you, November 28th, man, going to be a man down for real. It's going to be a man down November 28th. I promise you that, bro. Lolo going for another knockout, bro. Another one. He said he going for another knockout. Knockout ratio 100%. Lolo. Knockout ratio 100%. Lolo, bro. West side, nigga. This the West Coast. West Coast, you feel me? Yeah, man, listen, listen. You know what I mean? That's what it's all about, bro. You hear me? Yeah, I mean, you dig? Future world champion. That's how we rocking, bro. Hit that like button right now, bro. You know what I mean? Charles Lolo Harris, the next Terrence Crawford, nigga. The next Terrence Crawford, my nigga. Mark it down. Terrence Crawford, a bad man. Undisputed champion. Knocking everybody out. Undefeated Terrence Crawford. Lolo, listen. Lolo, the next Terrence Crawford, bro. Mark it down, bro. Mark it down. I'm standing 10 toes. 10 toes down, you dig? Ten toes down. Mark it down, young nigga. You dig? You hear me? That's how we doing it, my nigga. Hey, Zeus, you already know. From rapping to promoting. You dig? We still got bars now. This is what it is, man. Hit that like button, bro. What I try to tell you. You, you, you see the highlights, man. You see what I'm bringing to the table. A future world champion. A future world champion. A young nigga Lolo doing his thing. World champion, bro. Future world champion, nigga. Mark it down. A future world champion on game. That's on the game, nigga. For real, I'm standing on it, nigga. That's on the set, my nigga. That's on the set, though. This what it is, man. He doing his thing. He making it look easy. Future world champion. My boy Lolo. Hit that like button, bro. Hard work and dedication. Prayers and belief in a good team. 
staying ten. We staying. We standing ten toes down for real. No capping. Young Lolo, he bringing that pressure. He got the speed. He got the power. He got combinations, punches and bunches. You know what I mean? So yeah, you gonna see it, man. It's gonna be a man down. It's gonna be a man down. November twenty eighth. When Lolo returns to the ring, only 17 years old, boxing phenom, nigga. You dig?